what's going on the Yosemite guide here coming back at you from Lewis Creek um, about seven miles eight miles from the south gate of Yosemite it's president's weekend and just checking out my uh, local spot here at Lewis Creek got quite a few cars uh, it's president's weekend so it's a little bit busier uh, we got a little break in the storm we'll see if that holds out so I just need to get on the trail though so we got Lewis Creek trail here our friendly uh, mountain lion warning sign uh, haven't seen a mountain lion on this trail but they're out there so there's a few different trailheads for this trail we're at the main one here kind of in the middle there's one that starts closer to Oakhurst the uh, Cedar Valley trailhead there is kind of cool you can hike up to uh, Coralou Falls here um, you start in the middle you can go up towards uh, Red Rock Falls there or uh, down a half mile to Coralou Falls. It's two and a half miles one way up to uh, the Red Rock Falls spot there. There's an overview. I don't know if you could pick that out very well. And we're ready to start down into the trail. A little bit, little bit muddy here. We'll see what kind of conditions we got. But we're rocking the, rocking the bare feet here. So not too cold out actually but this river should be flowing pretty well with the uh we had some low elevation snow uh the last few weeks and now it's just been raining on it so should get quite a bit of runoff into this uh lewis creek here uh, the trail's gonna split right away down here 100 yards and you go right to go down to coralou falls is a half mile down or we'll see if we can cross the creek and go upstream and it's two and a half miles up to that smaller red rock waterfall here's our split right away in the trail so we'll check that out in a little bit going downstream to Coralou but we're gonna go down to the creek here see if we can cross it all right coming down to the stream looks like the bridge is washed out right now it washes out pretty much all the time let's see if we can find somewhere to cross it's not looking too promising still a little really pretty here I just have to go check out Coralou Falls water's a little bit high to be crossing Ground's a little cold, but not too bad. Okay, it's not very deep right here, Hello, but it's hard to spot your footing and stuff. And uh, yeah, the water was pretty, pretty chilly. But I think I'm gonna go downstream, check out Coralou Falls, and. Uh, Maybe cross this another time. Uh, live to see another day. All right, so we're just gonna head head downstream, check it out. And a couple hundred yards down down the trail, there's kind of a split here. Um, you want to stay stay to the more well pathed out spot, though that just kind of dead ends that way. It does look like a trail, but uh, I think it's an old like fire break or something. So, there's a couple little splits off of this thing and you just want to stay on the more packed out packed out stuff yeah. and the trail breaks down towards the creek here a few times it just kind of cascades down here so checking this out the hot spring is uh, on the other side Back there, there's a little hot spring, but that is inaccessible right now. So we'll keep heading down, see if we can check out the Squirrelu Falls. And the trail gets a little steep going down here, but not too bad. And the, uh, it's only half mile, half mile down. Everything's pretty, pretty slick and muddy right now. But my feet act as little suction cuts. Uh, 
I'm in good shape. Got a little landslide here. Got some good erosion going on. Kind of a cool shot of that. It is uh, one of these big sugar pines. Creates a pretty good void and everything just kind of washes out. So coming down uh, to the base of this waterfall, you got a pretty worn trail. Uh, that's pretty steep going down to the bottom of this. We'll check it out. You got to be really careful. It's slippery. Uh, there's some ropes to help assist you there. But the main trail, you stay to the right on the more worn access path and that takes you down to the uh, the wooden viewing deck is uh, less than a quarter mile from here. We'll check this out. Rope assist. Help you not fall into a waterfall. Close and personal with Coralou Falls. This is an even better viewing spot than the viewing deck because all the trees are growing up around it. Um, but you get a little more of a bigger view from back at that viewing deck. Check out that viewing deck. See how it looks. Winding down here, coming up on this viewing deck. I'm not sure what kind of shot I'll be able to get. Oh, there's only a couple people. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Uh, about a half mile walk from the road definitely worth it and we got Coralou Falls here looking good just eight miles south of Yosemite and a half mile hike down uh, it's starting to rain right now probably won't won't hang out too long here gotta keep it moving so we didn't get into too much today but uh, maybe I'll go check out uh, bonus waterfall right now closer to home see what uh, kind of water flow that's got going on it but uh, just a little over a mile uh, barefoot but had a good time so we'll see if we can sneak in another hike soon with all this weather coming in but I'll give it a go got a little closer to home here got a bonus bonus waterfall here not running crazy right now that's uh, super pretty. Nice. Love that. Kind of got that chocolate milk look going. I love milk, chocolate milk. <laughs> I actually uh, breastfed till I was nine years old, so I have an affinity for milk. Uh, I guess that's that's not true, but I do love milk.
All right, well, thanks for coming along. That about does it for this one. Uh, pretty short, quick little hike, but uh, just wanted to get my bare feet back on the ground. Had a lot of weather, weather coming in the last few weeks, and uh, it was just pouring rain here like five minutes ago, but now we got blue skies about. So it's amazing how fast things change around here. But uh, don't forget to subscribe to that video and stay tuned for my next adventure. Love you. Peace out.